Thank you for joining us for an afternoon of celebration as we recognize Class 10's completion of the Year Up program. Congratulations, Class 10. After countless hours of hard work, dedication, and perseverance, we've built the foundation for our future careers. My name is Michael Finn, and I am a member of Learning Community X. The X referring to the late Steve Jobs operating system we learned about during the training phase of Europe, and also the Roman numeral for 10. I am very proud to be speaking on behalf of my learning community and would like to thank them specifically for granting me this honor. This speech is in reverence and gratitude to the work the Europe program has done for not only me, but for all of class 10, past classes, and the many future classes to come. If any one of you has ever felt trapped, then you know what it felt like to be in my shoes a little more than a year ago. I was working at Trader Joe's with no idea what to do next in my life. I attended California State University East Bay for almost a semester before having to drop out due to financial struggles, something many of us are all too familiar with. Having to quit school tore me apart. All I wanted to do with my life was to make my family proud of me. Go to college, get a degree, start a career, the typical success story. I wanted to attend college so badly. I felt that I could succeed there and leave the stigmas of in ignorance and unintelligence that were placed on me simply because of my high school's reputation. Hayward High is currently known for its poor educational system, lack of funding, and association with gang violence and hate. And every day, with college seeming further and further from grasp, it felt more and more apparent that what others had said about my high school and its students was true about me. These negative qualities were reflected back onto me, even though I tried to be different. As much as it would frustrate me, there was nothing I could think to do. My aspirations to work in corporate America, to lead people to change the world, and to build and provide a better life for my future family seemed impossible at this point. I didn't know what I was missing, and I didn't know where to go. Thankfully, opportunity approached me in the form of a childhood friend and fellow Europe alumni, Andy Gomez. Through his story of how he earned an internship at Facebook, I was inspired to join Europe, the program that acted as the bridge between the life that I had and the life that I wanted. I remember walking into the San Francisco campus on the first day. Everyone in the building gave off the same feeling of hope. Each interaction with my colleagues reassured me that this was real, that this group of students was going to inspire and challenge teams in corporate America to reach new heights. To those whom I have met and grown with during this program, I will cherish you for the rest of my life. I have seen my friends give so much and push so hard, and I couldn't be any more proud of them. The training phase, also known as learning and development, took its toll on us. Infractions were earned, meetings missed, and white socks were worn. <laughs> and throughout our first five months of Europe, we were tried and tested to see our potential, our intellect, and our drive to push forward on our paths to success. We learned more than just technology and business etiquette. We learned something about ourselves as well. We learned that our learning communities consist of the most capable, talented, and driven students that this organization will ever see. Each one of us brought something new to the table. Christopher Salas, Michael Zanini, T. Lee, and Reggie Johnson are shining examples of how opportunity can come together and form something beautiful. Augustine DeLeon, Daisy Hernandez, Shawnee Gilliam, Shantae Brown, Vern Saturn, just to name a few, are some of the brightest minds I've ever had the opportunity to work and collaborate with. 
each project, each presentation. I saw LCX perform in ways that would inspire teams in corporate America to push themselves to new capabilities. Learning and development was where I got to meet each and every one of you. I will remember the skills and strengths each of you possesses and the challenges that you've endured to be where you are today. Through the training and the internships, we've made it to graduation. Internship brought new horizons, new things to learn, and new environments for each of us to adapt to. We were given the opportunity to prove ourselves in the corporate world. It wasn't easy, and we saw some of our friends leave us. But that only gave testament to the fact that our internships were something earned. The work you've done to earn your internships and to reach this stage do not go unnoticed. You've taken a huge leap and you've made it. The opportunity divide is shrinking and we are building the bridge. At this time, I must say thank you to LinkedIn's IT department, Chris Arrington, Gina Groom, Brian Mayer, Craig Williams, and Mike Jennings. Each of these individuals had faith in me. They gave me clay, and using the tools that Europe gave me, I've turned it into something amazing and am now a contract employee at LinkedIn. Thank you all for aiding me on this journey. It means the world. The managers, corporate partners, volunteers, and staff have all helped us get to this point, a pivotal point in our lives where we say where we want our lives to go, a point where we decide that the judgments and stigmas that have been placed on us no longer exist, a milestone that will change our lives from here on. I remember the milestones activity during orientation week. So many of us opened up and told the story of who we really are. The young, intelligent men and women that have more to offer this world than just another statistic. The stories of how we were hurt, how we were judged, and also the stories of triumph and great perseverance. And the stories that shaped us into the people that we are today. Had we not all faced these obstacles, these trials, these heartaches, we would not be who we are today. Today, we come together to celebrate what we were born into. We celebrate any action, any comment, and any thought that told us that we could not make a name for ourselves because those who doubted us ultimately were the ones who pushed us to succeed. Today, we celebrate our year up, and we celebrate our newfound truth that nothing is too far from grasp, or too drastic a goal, or too great a challenge. We celebrate where we have come from. We celebrate our milestones. We celebrate today, knowing that whatever may come, we have the knowledge, the skills, and the passion to succeed. You have given hope to everyone in this world, everyone in this room, everyone in your neighborhoods, that the opportunity divide will not stop us from achieving the successful lives we all deserve. Thank you, Europe, Bay Area, staff, alumni, volunteers, partners, and of course, fellow graduates. Congratulations to class 10. You have crossed the opportunity divide. Thank you.